Welcome to PeopleSoft Now. I'm Rebecca Jackson. It's a new year and time for a new People Tools release. People Tools 861 and Cloud Manager 17 are now available. So this episode is all about what we've delivered and how you can use it. Let's get to it. What feature are you most excited for customers to use in People Tools 861? I think I think in 861, I'm kind of excited about um, this home page, sectionalized home pages, uh, where we have home pages and you could basically configure multiple, one or more sections on the home page and redefine how you're, you know, re, you know, representing your tiles on the page. I think it's going to be interesting to see how customers uptake and adopt that. I know from an application perspective, you know, we're looking to deliver some new tiles um, that will work in the, in these sections and potentially display tiles that are more important that require the user's attention and maybe have like a to do section on the home page where um, users will see what they immediately have to do when they log into PeopleSoft. In People Tools 861, I have to say. The people's off insights and the improvements we've done there. So starting with 861, customers can now embed people's off insights in fluid work centers as well as fluid application pages. So this really elevates where all it can be used. It's now in, in context within application pages and work centers where the customer end users are uh, doing whatever they're doing, right? And so uh, without having to now go, go off on a separate window and uh, look at the insights and come back, they can, in the context, look at the insights. So I'm very excited about that feature. Not only what our applications are going to deliver, but also what our customers are going to do with that because it's a framework that's available for them as well. I'm actually excited about a couple of features in 861. And the first one is container support for PeopleSoft. Um, we are exposing APIs that allow administrators to containerize PeopleSoft Palm full stack, the middle tier, and open search and dashboards. So administrators can add this to their existing CI CD pipeline. I feel this feature will be well received by PeopleSoft admins. Uh, People Tools 861 comes with a lot of interesting and useful features for the customers. Uh, there are value additions like decimal precision display control. Uh, building analytics on the elapsed duration of an activity guide step, RTA support for the activity guide based search definitions, etc. There are also improvements done in the area of configurable search, PR grids download to Excel, fluid prompt page functionalities to specifically address customer pain points. I would rank search and analytics on the top. PeopleSoft have invested heavily in this area for many years, and we may continue to do so. Analytics are now called as insights, and in 861, we have taken insights to the next level by bringing insights dashboard to the application pages. Not just that, it can be configured to automatically apply page fields as filters so that right analytics are shown as per the application context. Support for containers is probably the one that I'm most looking forward to using. Uh, we'll be supporting the uh, provisioning of DPKs into containers for both uh, mid-tier and uh, full image DPKs. Uh, in my mind, one of the most exciting features is the improvement that we have done in PeopleSoft Search, where the PeopleSoft you know, PTSF gen feed indexing process now supports a partitioning technique, which results in very even data partitions in PeopleSoft. And the indexing process now supports efficient parallelization using these data partitions. Uh, so for us in the LCM tool space, uh, I think the about applied updates is one of the most uh, interesting features of 861. This allows you within any environment you have, get a quick one page answer to the question of how current is your database. And we give you that answer, not only based on like every fix that uh, PeopleSoft has delivered, but also relative to, you know, uh, installed products. 
and a couple of other activities as well. In uh, People Tools 861, um, we are releasing Cloud Manager 17, which comes with a lot of new capabilities and uh, power of AI. Uh, with Cloud Manager 17, one of the features that I really want to touch upon is the environment advisories. The environment advisories would allow customers to get much insight to the environment using the power of data science and artificial intelligence. So once you have uh, many environments, say Todd, test, dev running on your OCI, it will give you insights of what environments request attention. Say if one of the environments is lacking CPU, system will give you insight that this environment requires a patching. And once you click on the environment insights, environment advisories, it will turn the advisories to a policy that will mitigate this problem. Uh, the additional capabilities that we are adding on the governance, which is basically custom plugins. So through custom plugins, customers would be able to integrate through other REST APIs and custom actions. So for example, if you really want to run health checks on during lifecycle activities, say after you clone or to refresh, you can add them into custom plugins and run through policy actions. So these policies can be triggered every day, which will run health checks and send you an email note when these health checks are complete. What do you think has been the most important area that we've been investing in over the past few People Tools releases? I think if you look at 8, 859 and 860, I mean, we've, we've done a lot of enhancements for search. I think in 859, we, we added navigation search. Um, we've also added real-time indexing for our search indexes, which is important if you want to search against your current data. 860, we add some more enhancements for configurable search and some improvements to real-time search. And in 861, it's the same thing. Uh, we've added enhancements for data partitioning for uh, full and incremental sync for large volume search indexes. And we've also added some more feature and function for activity guide search definitions, where you could do some pre-processing on the search definition, as well as real-time indexing so that customers can start building analytics off of their activity guides. Um, so it's it's a continuous trend that we continue to invest in search. Well, over the last several years, we hear customization as the biggest bottleneck for the customers. In order to address that, People Tools has been investing heavily on the concept of configuration over customization. Core features like event mapping, configurable search, and lifecycle tools like ADS, pump automated updates help in identifying, managing, and improving customers' experience of customization. Another area that I can think of where there's a lot of investment going is to improve the search capabilities within the people tools. Uh, in the LCM space, we've been moving from client utilities to REST-based infrastructure in order to have databases talk to each other regarding LCM issues like customizations and usage and those kinds of activities. Uh, and the REST, not only does it eliminate the sort of the hassles of the client, it also allows us to bring in functionality like syncing and maintaining the currency of the data in different databases as we move it between environments. I will talk about Cloud Manager 17 release. There are three major feature areas that we're investing on. The number one, we are building Cloud Manager to make more intelligent and capable by integrating to data science and artificial intelligence technologies. So that's what we see uh, in Cloud Manager 17 and along the way, we will see more capabilities to make it more autonomous. Second thing, we'll be adding more capabilities into the governance modules to make the lifecycle management automated. All of them can be driven through governance with a much easier way of managing systems on cloud. Third, we are bridging the gap on production management, as you will be able to manage production systems with greater resilience through cloud manager. Without a doubt, it has to be the search framework. Uh, we've done a lot of work around search in terms of user experience, how users can efficiently search as well as make it more intuitive. Also the performance aspect around that, bringing in real-time indexing and other indexing improvements where data is always current in the search. And naturally, once you have the search the data indexed, you have other things that come with it, like insights that we spoke about earlier. And 
external data integration, things like bringing data into PeopleSoft through the search framework and also integrating with Oracle Data Science and other capabilities. So it's an endless um, uh, list of things that you can do with the search framework. We'll, we'll continue to invest in the space. So um, watch that area. What do you think is the most underutilized people tools feature that everyone should know about? I think it's usage monitor. Uh, it allows you to uh, to capture what you use in your system, both at, at a generic level or as a user level. And that allows you to then sort of do things like, if I have one look at customizations, who's using them, am I using them? Those kinds of questions, as well as determining, you know, who uses stuff that's gonna be impacted by incoming maintenance and so forth. One of the features uh, that we've heavily invested uh, on uh, Cloud Manager is, is the auto-scaling feature. Uh, it will allow the, uh, the customers to automatically scale up, scale down, uh, making it hands-free uh, and reduce the cost of overall operations. So I would encourage, I would uh, request all of you to take a look at how that capability is and how it can bring in uh, effectiveness in your management production systems on cloud. When it comes to search, the common use case everyone remember is to search for a keyword and choose a result from the list. But search framework in PeopleSoft provides a lot of other search technologies like synonym search, fuzzy search, and others. We haven't heard from the customer base on the usage of these functionalities. These are really powerful tools that can broaden a user search experience. Also, real-time indexing is another area getting more attention these days. Eventually, real-time indexing and along with uh, analytics will become the front runner in the coming years. Yeah, I don't know whether it's underutilized, I, I think, but people should know about it. Um, there has been enhancements made to our People Tools notification framework. Um, in the past few releases, we've made several enhancements to the functionality um, to you know, display different preferences and notification preferences, um, improved integration for text notifications, and also for the ability for the customer to control um, how their end users can personalize how they receive those notifications. So there's been a lot of enhancements related to notifications, but the customers haven't really seen it. Um, their notifications in their applications haven't changed that much. And you know, we have now have a new framework called Notification Composer. And it's gonna leverage some of these new people tools notification enhancements. And I think that's something that customers um, probably haven't heard a lot about because like I said, it hasn't impacted uh, their current application, but Notification Composer is out there. And as customers uptake and implement it, um, they are gonna see these uh, people tools notification features. So back in people tools 858, we introduced a new feature called Data Distribution Framework. We realized that uh, the, uh, there are many AI, ML, artificial intelligence, and machine learning use cases in PeopleSoft, and customers would like to use the PeopleSoft data to implement these use cases and provide, ins uh, provide powerful insights, forecasts, and um, you know, uh, predictions to their users. We, there is also the Oracle Cloud Data Science Service, which is a very... Uh, which, which is a very powerful AI ML platform that provides uh, functionalities to rapidly build, train, manage, and deploy machine learning models. So we build this PeopleSoft data distribution framework, which provides a mechanism to extract and flatten the PeopleSoft data. And then this data can be used as data source for um, machine learning uh, for machine learning models on the data science service. Sure, underutilized would have to be the usage monitor. And uh, historically, this has had a requirement uh, with uh, complex deployment as well as infrastructure requirements. And starting with 860, we've uh, really simplified it. It's, a, it's just a switch of a button and you can enable it. That's one part to it. But what does it do? Well, now customers can start to, to, to record all the objects that are being used behind the scenes as their users are using the system. And why is that useful? Well, that allows them to plan their test better, evaluate their customizations in a much more um, uh, intuitive way, as well as uh, take application maintenance based on uh, much more um, insights uh, based on the usage monitor data. So 
that's one thing that hasn't been used very much, but we're starting to see customers use that a lot with eight, uh, starting with 860. So that's something that everybody should start uh, looking at. There are many small impactful features we have done in people tools. We have, we have a bunch of them uh, in the LCM core reporting integration and platform areas. Customers can refer to the YouTube channel maintained by our InfoDev team. And this page would provide an overview of all these features. And we hope that will help uh, other customers greatly. Those are the highlights of Tools 861 from our perspective. Of course, there's a lot more that we didn't cover. Check out the highlight videos and release notes for the full list of all capabilities. We can't wait to hear what you think as you uptake it. And don't forget, Cloud Manager has that magic button to upgrade people tools. If you haven't tried it out, you should. Now, stay tuned for your In the Know update. Good sparky. Mm -hmm.